Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. I am taking this web services and this web services will be, will be taken by iPhone, Android, Windows and what they will do, they will communicate with the server. iPhone will communicate with the server. Let's see whether you are getting a proper response for iPhone. Take the same web service and Android will communicate with the server. See whether you are getting a proper response. Same applicable for your Windows. Communicate with your server. See whether you are getting a proper response. That means that here we are checking whether the same web service is working with the different devices. We will never write uh, uh, this middleware is common. Remember one thing, this middleware is common. That means what I will do is I will use this middleware for different devices. Like for iPhone, I will use this middleware. For Windows, I will use this middleware. For Android also, I will use this middleware. Now, here, right, we will do different kinds of uh, testing. Like the device testing and then security testing and authentication testing. We will do this kind of testing. Fine. And this is, this is where, right, the tester will fit. Right? This is where tester will come into picture. Most of the times, right, we will mm, fit here. Most of the times, right, we will do our operations and we will do our activities here. But sometimes, yeah, we will do here. Sometimes we will do web services, but right, most of the times our job will be here. Right. Authentication testing is nothing but right, verify whether that particular web service is Right, Give, uh, giving that proper response without any authentication problem. See, say for example, what will happen is right. Just imagine, right, you are opening your uh, like some banking application, right? I will open my login page. Yeah, it's open properly. When I enter username and password, click on uh, sign in button, it will go to next page. After going to the next page, then what I will do? I will copy that URL, close the browser and open a new browser and try to open that uh, copied URL. What will happen? It should navigate back to login page. That means, right, you are verifying the authentication. Now, usually our job is here, right? Usually, right, our job is in uh, at front end only like we will test in the mobile devices most of the times, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes we will test in uh, web services. Web services also we will do. Yeah. Right. Here, yeah. in this front end, what we will do is we will test that applications in the mobile. So what kind of testing we will do? Right. Usually what we will do, we will, I mean, here, right, I gave some testing type, but going forward, I will give that uh, strategy, how to test that uh, mobile applications. There, I will talk about more testing type, what kind of testing we need to do. Here, I give some high-level testing type. 
in detail i will provide later stage now here right what i will do once my application is ready right here my developer is develop my application once my application is ready then what i will do i will test my application in terms of installation testing what do you mean by installation testing so i have to make sure that right my application is installed properly and i have to make sure that my application is uninstalled properly then i have to do my functionality testing like i have to make sure that all my functionalities are working as expected that means right i have to do my functionality testing this is similar to your manual testing whatever you will do in your manual testing the same thing will be done on your mobile application right when you are doing your manual testing you will do in the desktop or whatever your machine however here we are doing our functionality in the devices that's the difference now next one is compatibility testing compatibility testing is very important for mobile application testing what do you mean by compatibility testing make sure that my application is compatible with uh, different devices right are different versions that means right what will happen if you take android right yeah correct right if you take that android application i mean if you take android uh, os right android 2.3 or if you take any android version right the same version can be used by different different people like samsung will use android motorola will use android as a tester i have to make sure that my application is working with both my samsung as well as motorola that means compatibility testing is nothing but testing that application with the different devices different platforms different os versions now how to make sure that my application is working with different os versions if you take android you have so many versions like 2.0 2.1 2.2 2.3 3 4 we have many versions so what we will do we will make sure that application is working with different platforms and also you have to make sure that it is working with a different vendor that means right my samsung is using 2.3 my motorola is using 2.3 what i have to do i have to make sure that it is working with both the devices that is my job ui testing for mobile applications ui is very important because right look and feel is very important when you open that application right the very first thing we need to do is ui test user interface test you have to make sure that that application is properly fitting into your device that is properly aligned into your device all your images are properly coming into your device you have to make sure that all the functionalities are fitting into your device when you observe that right say for example if you are working with your icici bank just imagine if you are working with that right when you open that icici bank in your desktop see how it is coming when you open when you take that app into your mobile see how it is coming what they will do is even though the same application if i am using into my mobile what they will do is they will redesign that application in such a way that the application will fit into my device so that's the that's the reason why right? ui is very important right. and you need to do your interrupt testing right you need to do your interrupt testing see this is this is i am not giving this overview with respect to what you call uh, development i am giving this with respect to testing strategy right if you are talking about development right you will have lot of things like uh, they will design and which layer they are using and then how the data is flowing how the data is coming so there will be lot of things but here i don't want to talk about uh, development architecture i wanted to talk my testing architecture what kind of testing i need to follow on each and every layer 
and where tester will fit into that layer right that's the intention right? i don't want to talk about uh, development and all and if if i'm talking about development right there should be lot of layers and uh, lot of discussions need to happen right so and also what we need to do is we need to do this interrupt testing interrupt testing is important for your mobile application testing the reason is when i am working with my application i have to make sure that my application is not interrupting by any of the other other source what do you mean by that say for example if i am working with my one application when i am working with the application if i am getting any incoming call when i am getting that incoming call i have to make sure that my existing application is is not getting any problem it's not closing it's not getting any interruptions from the incoming call so like this right you are having lot of things like calls sms you have so many things that also we will be discussing going forward what is interrupt testing what kind of interruptions are available in your mobile application those stuff yeah many things like messages alarms and the network so many things are there right we will talk about that interrupt testing right what kind of testing are available and then how to do this interrupt testing for the application right so this is our uh, application and also if you see this right here this is right this integration testing will be done by this uh, developer right there is no point of uh, testers here but web services yeah web services right testers will be involved here testers will do this uh, testers will do a part here mobile web services and here s y is nothing but uh, service oriented architecture here this device management testing yeah we will do some time we will take some time and then security testing right uh, what we have some tools are uh, there will be a separate thing right other than testing and authentication we will do and this complete testing will be done by the testers installation testing functionality testing and then uh, compatibility testing ui testing and interrupt testing See, middleware will be tested with the help of middle uh, web services. Always, you can test your middleware is nothing but testing the web services. If all the web services are working fine, then you can say that my middleware is good. Middleware is is not having any issue. Prasad, um, Prasad, this is Nilima here. Uh, I have a just very quick question in this regard. When you are saying that we test the, you know, we do the web services testing in middleware. that's where my question is like you know um, if only a mobile app accesses the you know uh, um is that if you know when we click a mobile app does it access the whatever to web services yeah see here right see this is the front end you cannot see that front end what will happen say for example if you are acting something right so you will get that response and you can see in the front end there you cannot see your uh, web services what you will do is you will test this web services separately like what you can do right web services are nothing but right say url so what i will do is i will give that url when you are opening that url in your uh, browser what will happen is you will get the response from your uh, middleware right this is this is a separate part don't yeah, think i mean yeah uh, so my question is even in case you know some for example if we uh, open a bank of america website through our uh, mobile then will that also access the web server i mean will that also be uh, using a web service yes see let me give you one example web services right let me anyway you are talking about that right let me yeah, give you yeah i am quite confused about that can you yeah, no problem see here right when i am talking about web services means right see when i am implementing my application right this is my application say for example right you are saying that uh, uh, you want to say that bank of america you want to say that so this is my application now i wanted to implement this application with like uh, 
right i wanted to implement with android and windows and iphone so i wanted to implement this uh, bank of america application with uh, different devices when you want to implement it right see what do you mean by that here right when i want to implement in android i need to write my login for android i need to write login for windows i need to write my login for iphone right that is a time waste so what i will do in the middle where so in the middle where what i will do right in the middle where i will write a function called login in the middle where i will write a function called login and what i will do i will as a middleware uh, developer i will give this web services to the all the mobile web developer so what they will do now while writing this uh, iphone guy he will point to here what i will do my iphone developer will point here my android will point here my other also right? that means right no need to write login page for each and every application so how much time it will reduce let's imagine so this is the way the web services will work so what i will do i will write a common component so say for example this is a login for my amazon whatever that bank of america and what i will do i will give this web services to the developer what developers will do wherever it is required simply they will give a reference here and once you are opening that login page then your iphone will hit this web services and this web services will hit your middleware and middleware will give the response as login page and the login page will be displayed in your iphone that is the logic actually see let me explain you again right what i will do right say for example here yeah. Fine. So, as an iPhone developer, right? Uh, no, no, no. We are not a developer. Just I am trying to explain you that logic. Okay, we will not check the code and all. we will check whether that uh, services request and response is coming properly or not we are not the developer right see here right what i will do in the iphone just imagine right in the iphone what i will do i will use this url when you are using this url iphone what it will do it will search this login services because here i use my login reference so it will search this once it is searching this web services this web services right will go to that server right it will go to that server it will go to that uh, whatever that server and it will get the response here now it will go to that server it will get the response back to your web services and web service what it will do it will display that result in the iphone that means it, it will display the login page in your iphone that means as a end user you don't know what is happening in the back end back end this is the logic now similarly in android also when i am opening my login page already while writing my script i gave my reference that means i gave my web services it will go here it will go to server get the response back and it will display here that means right here no need to write the login page for each and every device right if i am having the different platforms say for example iphone android blackberry windows i am writing my application for five platform that time right no need to write the login page for each and every platform instead of that we will create a web service called login and we will keep in the middle where and each and every mobile developer go there and hit that uh, login page and they will get that login page into the device that is the logic like behind your middle where right hope you clear Yes, sir. Thank you. So, okay. just certain functionalities on the web page will which will uh, use the web services. It depends, right? Right, right. right. 
Yeah. In case of a mobile app, it will definitely access the web service, right? Yeah, yeah, everywhere, yeah, everywhere, yeah. Mobile app is nothing but right the service only, right? See, when you are opening your uh, application in a normal browser, that is not your app and all. It's a not like mobile web only. That's yeah. a normal thing, normal thing. And remember, right? Again, I am saying, right? Here, I am not talking about databases and all. See, this, I am not talking about the, with respect to developer and all. This is our testing point of view. We are not testing the database. Okay. See, mobile application, we will test the middleware. Middleware is the main core for the mobile application. Here only, middleware only, everything we will maintain. Okay. Here, if, if you want to write, you can keep one uh, database uh, here. Everything will be resides in the middleware. See, whenever uh, the application is nothing but in the mobile application, all the details will reside in middleware. Okay, fine. So this is our mobile. Uh, Prasad, uh, Prasad yeah. so the server is the same and we access through mobile or... Uh... So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you are calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.